Good afternoon, my name is Cameron Kelly and today I will be presenting my ratio analysis of Amazon. So, company's key information, uh, Amazon was founded by Jeff Bezos in 1995. He actually started out in his own garage and it was originally a book selling company. Um, it's the biggest online retail store with headquarters in Seattle, Washington, United States. Amazon operates purely as an online retailer that does not have any retail stores at all. Uh, they have a revenue of 502 point, 502 billion operating income of 2.525 billion and 1.62 employees. So as the graph here displays, uh, ROE shows the firm's profitability. Overall, Amazon's ROE is greater than the industry average ROE in 2014. Amazon's ROE is lower than the industry average. However, Amazon's ROE is greater than the industry average between 2018 and 2017. Maintaining an upward trend in 2018, Amazon realized 23.1% of ROE, although it is a little lower than the industry average. Thus, Amazon's profitability measured by ROE seems to be very good. So next we're going to talk about ROA. Uh, ROA shows how the firm is using its assets. Overall, Amazon's ROA is greater than the industry average ROA. In 2014, Amazon's ROA is 0.2%, which is lower than the industry average, which was 1.4%. However, Amazon's ROA is greater than the industry average between 2018 and 2017, maintaining an upward trend. In 2018, Amazon realized 7.5% of ROA, although it was a little lower than the industry average. Thus, Amazon's use of assets measured by ROA seems to be very good as well. Current ratio shows the firm's ability to pay off short-term debts overall. Industry ratio is greater than the Amazon's average current ratio. Industry current ratio is greater than Amazon's average between 2008 and 2018, maintaining an upward trend. As you can see here, here's a graph of quick ratio. Quick ratio shows the firm's ability to convert liquid assets into cash to pay for short-term expenses. Overall, Amazon's quick ratio is lower than the industry average quick ratio. In 2009, in 2008 and 2009, Amazon is higher than the industry average. However, Amazon's quick ratio is lower than the industry average between 2010 and 2018. Maintaining a downward, downward trend. 2009, Amazon realized 97.2% of, although it's a little lower than the industry average. Thus, Amazon's ability to convert liquid assets into cash to pay for short-term expenses measured by quick ratio is very bad. Cash ratio shows the firm's liquidity. Overall, Amazon's cash ratio is greater than the industry average cash ratio. In 2017 and 2018, Amazon's cash ratio is lower than the industry average. However, Amazon's ROA is greater than the industry average between 2008 and 2011. Maintaining an upward trend in 2019, Amazon realized 86.4% of cash ratio, although it is a little lower than the industry average. Thus, Amazon's liquidity measured by cash ratio seems to be good. Equity ratio shows the contribution from shareholders to the firm's resources. Overall, Amazon's equity ratio is greater than the industry average equity ratio. In 2010, Amazon's cash ratio is lower than the industry average. Inventory period shows how efficiently a firm can convert its inventory into a sale. Overall, Amazon's in inventory period is lower than the industry average and it lower than the industry average inventory period. Thus, Amazon's efficiency to convert its inventory into sell measured by inventory period seems to be very good. AR period shows the money that customers owe to a firm for goods already provided. Overall, Amazon's AR period is lower than the industry average AR period. AP period shows how quickly a firm makes payments to creditors and suppliers that extend lines of credit. Overall, Amazon's AP period is higher than the industry average AP period. Operating cycle shows the days required for a firm to receive inventory, sell the inventory, and collect cash from the 
sell of the inventory. Overall, Amazon's operating cycle is lower than the industry average operating cycle. Cash conversion cycle shows the time that a firm takes to convert its investments into inventory and other resources into cash flows from sales. Overall, Amazon's cash conversion cycle is lower than the industry average cash conversion cycle. Um, for my survey and conclusion, uh, from the ROE analysis, Amazon's ROE is greater than the industry average ROE from 2015 to 2018. Amazon ROE showing an upward trend, meaning Amazon maintained a profitability trend within these periods. Um, summary of stability. Amazon stability is okay since the overall Amazon's equity ratio is greater than the industry average equity ratio. Even though the overall industry current ratio is greater than Amazon's average current ratio, Stability is measured on how much debt can be supported by the company and whether debt and equity are balanced. In this case, Amazon's equity is higher than its debts. Um, that concludes my video. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.